If we want a consistent way of reducing complexity, it's really helpful to have a way to measure it. McCabe Cyclomatic Complexity, abbreviated MCC, is a well-known way to measure the complexity of software and determine whether that software is spaghetti code. You can measure MCC first by considering a single module, whether that be a subroutine, a method, or some other chunk of code that you can unit test. While in practice MCC can be computed by a tool, it's helpful to see how it can be done by hand as an illustration of the principle. First, reorganize your code so that different basic blocks of code are apparent. A basic block is a segment of code with a single entry point and a single exit point. The idea is that once you figure out what a basic block is, when you execute it, you're going to execute all those lines of code together every time. Next, draw a control flow diagram through all the paths in the module, here represented by green arrows. Each arrow shows the path through a single basic block. An if statement has two parallel arrows, one for the fall through path and one for the if path. An if else statement similarly has two arrows, but that covers the two different code paths, the if path and the else path. More complicated, chained, if else statements have more parallel paths. Ultimately, all the arrows converge at the final return statement. Once you have drawn the flow control graph, you can compute MCC by counting the number of holes or eyes in the graph. Here we see the MCC is counted by looking at holes number one, two, three, and four, and then adding one more for the area outside the graph giving an MCC total of 5 for this example. That final plus 1 is so that a module with no branches at all still has an MCC of 1. What the MCC means in practice is that you might have to run up to 5 different unit tests to cover all the paths in the module. Sometimes you might need fewer tests depending on the actual code and branch paths, but in general, MCC correlates with the effort you'll need to spend on creating unit tests to get full unit test coverage that hits all the basic blocks in the code. A related metric is called strict cyclomatic complexity, or SCC. This differs from MCC in that it looks inside the conditions for an if statement. If there are multiple conditional elements that might need to be tested separately, a higher score is assigned. For example, an if statement with a condition of either x equals 0 or y equals 0 would need to be tested for both possible conditions, resulting in an SCC score of plus 2 for that compound condition. A type of testing coverage called Modified Condition Decision Coverage, or MCDC, requires this level of testing, so if you're using MCDC coverage, then SCC is a better metric for you.